Ruby Red's World of Dolls, and welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that all is well, fantastic, and fabulous your way. I hope that you are taking a little time, even if it's not in your schedule, that you are making a little time to have a little fun with your toys that you collect, your dolls, the crafting, whatever it is that you do to relax and play and have a little fun. I hope that you are taking the time to do it. I am on my lunch break. Today is Friday. Yes, it is. And I'm not, um, I'm going to share a haul with you guys. It's kind of small. I guess it would be considered a medium sized haul. But I am working. We have a Zoom workshop that started at 9 a.m. And it just ended at 12.30 for us to have lunch. And at 1.30, I have to go right back. And it's supposed to last to about 3 or 4 o'clock. And I'm just kind of over it. I'm really tired. And when I say tired, I am physically tired. Um, you guys, if you watch my channel, you've heard me say I'm just not a person that sleeps really well. You know, I have no problems falling asleep. I just don't stay asleep like I should. And... My work schedule this week has been a little off because I've had to step in and substitute a bus route because one of the, my co-workers lost her mom, breaks my heart, but I had to step in for our bus route, which made me have to change my wake up time to 3 a.m., guys. I have to wake up at 3 a.m. so that I can be to work by 5, 10, 5, 15 because that school bus leaves campus at 5.30. So I've been kind of tired because for two days I've done that. And I'm tired. And then yesterday when I got off work at 5 o'clock, instead of bringing my behind home and relaxing, I decided to go to Target, which was from my work. It's only like 20 minutes away. So I decided I would just go to Target, Hobby Lobby, just kill a little time. And um, find some stuff so I can have a little play. So that's what I'm sharing with you guys. Some of the stuff I picked up yesterday. Some of it I picked up last week. Some of it my daughter picked up in her area at her Target for me. And I got one thing here that came from AliExpress. So let's jump in and see what we got. So let's start here. Let's start here with the stuff, the fashion packs. You guys know I love the fashion packs. And um, these fashion packs are the um, the Roxy and the regular Barbie fashion packs. I really like these Roxy fashion packs. My local Walmart did not ever get these in stock yet. Um, but yesterday when I was at that Walmart that um, I go to sometimes in another area, they had them. And I had already had my daughter pick these up for me. Target's fashions and fashionistas are more expensive than Walmart, guys. If you shop there, then you already know. So I finally got this set, and I got this one. And my local Walmart never got this one in. And it's cute. Um, I like it because I have a doll that I kind of want to put this theme on. So that's why I got it. So I finally got that one. I want to say I hope I have all of the fashion packs. There's one that I'm missing that I'm probably just going to go ahead and order from Amazon because I can't find it anywhere else. So I'm going to go ahead and break down and get it from Amazon. And then I got this last Roxy set that she picked up for me that um, I don't know if I showed you guys this or not. But yeah, so I got that one. So collecting 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 the barbie um fashion packs you guys know i am a fan of the fashion packs all right so i dropped that okay so those are the fashion packs that my daughter picked up for me now i was out in my um doing my central runs um what day did i go out monday after work monday and i had to pick up some stuff so of course i had to run in my local um, Walmart toy section. And I decided to go ahead and pick up these last two sets. But I think there's two more fashion packs that I need to get. Two or three that I haven't got. I really love the teacher set. And I love the um, the medical, um, medical 
fashion packs. I love the scrubs. So this is a Ken scrub. And you can use it for Barbie if you choose. But it's made for Ken. So I picked up those two. And I went to my local Ollie's because I always love to check out Ollie's. The toy section in my local Ollie's right now is just like the toy section in my local Walmart. Dead. Nothing. 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 But these are the Disney Princess Comfort Squad fashion packs. I did not pick them up when my local Walmart had them. And I regretted it. And when they sold out, they were gone. They never went on sale in my local Walmart because, like I said, they ended up selling out. But Ollie's had them for $3, so I thought I would grab them. I can never get too many fashions because these fashions work with Barbies. They work with Blythe's. So there are so many dolls that I can use. They work great. I'm hoping that these look cute on my petite doll, La Mama. And then I got this one. These were the only three that they had. And they were $2.99 each. So I grabbed them. I picked them up. And then I want to show you guys this um, military. Sorry, battery went kaput no warning you know i purchased those new batteries and they were supposed to be really good batteries but i'm noticing that these batteries do not last very long in my camera so i will not be purchasing any more of those so i don't know what's up with that but i'm not getting my um money's worth off of those batteries so back to what i was saying i purchased these military fatigues from amazon i um, sorry AliExpress and it was like almost two months ago and I have not waited this long for anything I ever purchased from AliExpress and I was starting to think that it wasn't gonna show but the tracking was showing that it was moving so I know knew it was coming but when I didn't but this is Jacob and I decided because this is gonna be for Ken but I can also put them on Barbie I guess if I wanted to but I'm always looking for things to um, add to my characters for my doll stories that I do. You guys, if you follow me on Instagram, you know, I like to do doll stories. When I post a pic, I like for the pic to have a little storyline with it. <laughs> so, my ex was a military man. He retired from the military. And, um, I always thought that his military fatigue was really, was one of my favorite things that, you know, I like to see him in. I just think a uh, man in uniform is a beautiful thing, you know. So, when I saw these and the ratings on them were great, I said I would give it a try. And guys, I'm going to tell you, I paid $4.50. I want to say $4.50 for this set. Now, it didn't come with the shoes. The shoes are um, Ken shoes. But it came with the hat. And all of this stuff feels like it is made out of the actual material that you would make military fatigues out of. I mean, the details are awesome. You know, I mean, it is so nicely done. The stitching and all. I mean, everything is nicely done. And it was well worth it. And it was well worth the wait. The pockets and design on them, they are made just like real military fatigues, but for dolls. Even the sleeve has the little um, clip to snap it closer, um, to close it to make it tighter on the sleeve, you know. And I was just so impressed with the quality. The pics, the pictures showed exactly what you get. And I was hoping that the pictures were exactly what they said you got the detailing on the sleeve these are functioning pockets it's four pockets two tops two um, bottom ones and they are functioning pockets he has functioning pockets here okay the pocket on this side is stitched okay so the pockets on the pants i thought they were functioning pockets but all right, so maybe not. All right, so the pockets on the pants are not functioning, but they are very detailed, okay? Very detailed. I'm telling you, I just love it. I am very satisfied. They have elastic um, hem on the pants. And, I mean, I'm just so satisfied with these with this outfit i really am and it fits the cans so nicely i'm gonna have to paint me some some boots and you know 
some of my kin boots to make it really, you know, and maybe try to come up with some name tags and some rank on the sleeve there when I decide what um, his rank is going to be. But I think Jacob looks quite handsome. He's already handsome, but I also ordered it in this print as well, the regular military fatigue. This is kind of like, reminds me of the uh, military fatigue that my ex wore when he was... um in Saudi Arabia. He was in Saudi Arabia for eight months over there, and these were his fatigues. I think I still have them. That was kind of like the print for that, and these were his regular military fatigues. And again, these are made a little different. They don't have the bottom pockets like the ones Jacob is wearing, but they do have all of the detailing. No Velcro. It has snap open closures. This is how it looks in the back. You've got the two little um, grooves here. I forgot what you call these, but they're kind of like you can adjust them. But it does have the pockets here on the sleeve as well. The detail in there and the stitching. Everything is so nicely done. And then the hat is also made just like that one. And, I, and these did come from the same seller. And then here are the pants. Back pockets. Not functioning, but they're the looks of pockets. And then on the side there as well. Excuse me, guys. And then you've got the snap closure. And again, the elastic hem on the bottom there. For, I want to say, I paid $10 and a little, not $10 and some change with tax to get these two outfits. And again, like I said, it took them a while to get here. It took them quite a while, longer than anything I have ever purchased but it was well worth it because they look great on him and the material is weighted and very nicely done. I mean, I didn't show you the inside, but this is what the inside looks like. They look like really real military fatigues for dolls. It says 21st Century Toys, made in China, of course. Very nicely done. And for the price, you can't beat it. All right, so these are all my little goodies that I picked up yesterday when I decided to go out. A little bit instead of coming straight home from work and um, I'm gonna show you what I got you know I have not seen these little sets yet in my local Walmart so when I saw them in that Walmart I decided to grab one of each um, I think there's three in this set I was gonna order it from Amazon Amazon had the three pack for $14.97 which is about what you pay for me anyway they're like $4.97 each I think the other one is a pet set I want to say I think it's something for your pet but um the Walmart didn't have that one or I would have got that one too but I love this the little blanket feels so nice you can stick your finger in there and feel the blanket I love that um backrest pillow you got a pair of glasses again I don't know what's up with these little miniature tiny um pets that they're putting with the with the accessory packs, but I'm really, really loving that. A cup, but I will unbox the, whenever I unbox them, I will try to unbox them here on the channel. And then you've got the beach set. Again, another blanket that you can stick your finger, and then you've got a tote bag, pair of sunglasses, pair of flip-flops, and a miniature little pooch in there. So, I really like these little sets, and like I said, I was looking for them at my local Walmart, but they hadn't got in there yet, so finally got it all right so at tar at target i finally was able to find this um i could have ordered it from amazon but sometimes i just like to pick them up in person there was the only one it was the only one target had and it was way in the back of all the ones i already had and i said i'm not gonna leave it 9.99 again like i said um target is like the same when it comes to um, Amazon with the fashion packs, but it's $9.99 on um, Amazon as well. Sometimes I think some of these fashion packs and dolls are exclusive to Amazon or Target because what my Walmart has every single one of these regular fashion packs, not the Roxy's, but they did not get this one. And then the other one is a Ken and Barbie set, and I want to get that one too. But um, I'm going to go ahead and order it from Amazon because I couldn't find it in Target and I just don't feel like my Walmart's going to get it because they're steadily putting out, refreshing the, the packs when they um, 
sale out, but they're not putting any new ones. Okay, so yes, I bought another doll. This is the Barbie Space Discovery set, and I got this doll because I fell in love with her face mold. She's different. Um, I love her curly hair. She has a big, beautiful smile, and I love those big, beautiful um, brown eyes of hers. And I just had to have her, and I am definitely going to rebody her. She comes with quite um, a few little accessories in there. I have an astronaut already. I love the artwork here on the box. I really do. And then here on the back of the box, we got a picture of her all geared up in her um, gear, in her um, astronaut uniform, and she looks fabulous. But again, like I said, she's going to get rebodied. So when I open her, unbox her, I, and rebody her maybe I'll share it here on the channel if you're interested in seeing that you know just hit me in the comments below and I will I will try to share it here on the channel so of course I had to go to I picked up some blind bags too I already opened that one because I was going to open them all and then I said no I'll just open them on the haul video show you guys what I got but I picked those up from Walmart as well all right so I picked up these little um rings from um Hobby Lobby because I I'm you know I'm into jewelry. I'm gonna turn these into doll into bracelets, bangles. That's why I got those. I got a pack of gold and I got a pack of silver. And then I also picked up these little um charms here that I'm going to make earrings for my dolls. I had to get two packs because the, you they're not doubles on each card as you can see. There's it, You had to buy two if you want to have matching earrings. So I bought two of those. And I got them because they're normally $3.99. But Hobby Lobby had a sale yesterday, 50% off of this stuff. So I just went ahead and picked them up. And then I wanted this quite pricey if I bought it on regular price. It was $6.99. But they also had 50% off of this. So I was able to get this for $3.50 the miniature frames and I can't wait to put this on a Dollarama it's awesome I really like it these they had this like I said they had this stuff on sale so that's why I picked it up I always love going Hobby Lobby even if I don't pick up anything I just love going in there checking out I could walk around the next store and you know what I'm not the only one mostly everybody that was in there when I go in there they're like me they get a basket there's not a lot in the basket but they're going down every aisle. It was a man in there yesterday. He didn't even have a basket. And you could tell that he was just enjoying himself walking around in the store. All right. So I had been looking at the, looking for this series of blind Barbie blind bags at my local Walmart and Target. And I had not been able to find them. They had not stocked them. But I was in that Walmart that I purchased those um, accessory sets from. And I saw a box. Well, I'm glad I dug. I was I started digging in it because on the top was the old ones that I had. But underneath they had these four from the latest one. So I said, let me grab these four and see what I can get. So like I said, I've already pulled this one open. So let's go ahead and see what we got. I got a pair of heart-shaped sunglasses. I've already got a million of those. And I got this cute purse. I love that pinwheel purse. Looks like a yo-yo a purse. Okay. And then let me show you the owners, the collector's guide. So the collector's guide is this here. So I hope that I have at least one of the, the um, rare items. But we'll find out. So I've got the first one there. So let's see what else... I can find in these blind bags. Let's see what we got. And when I picked them up, I swear it felt like it was nothing in them. Well, it looks like I got another double. All right, so I got another pair of those heart-shaped sunglasses and purse. <laughs> All right, let's see what's in this one. <laughs> I know I don't sound excited, do I? <laughs> excited at all. All right, so the other one's open. Okay, there we go. All right, it ain't, it's not a double, but it doesn't look like a rare item either. So let's see what I got. All right, so 
another pair of sunglasses. We got these purple, like, lilac pair round shape frames. And we got this. Oh, that's cute. I like this little fanny pack. Oh, I like that print. I like that. So that's cute. That's not so bad. At least it's not a double. All right, last bag. Let's see what we got in here. All right, it doesn't look like a double. It is something different, but I didn't get any exclusive rare items. All right, so this one just has one thing in there. One candy bag. So did I get gypped? They usually come with two things. Yeah, I was supposed to get a ice cream. Looks like an ice cream. Let me look back in the bag. Maybe it's still in the bag and it fell out in the bag. It did. It did. Let's see what this is. It's so tiny. All right. It's a little popsicle. A little cherry popsicle. So, I love these handbags. So, these, these little... um. Clutches are really really cute. I like that it has candy on it. So they are different So I did get a get three different things didn't get um, too many doubles But the bags felt like there was nothing in them when I went to shake the bags. I was like Are these bags empty? Do they have anything in them? But they did yeah, they did so That was fun. I usually enjoy opening these and um <laughs> and I enjoy sharing them with you guys. Like I said, I started opening them last night when I got home and I got relaxed and got in bed and I said, "Let me open up these blind bags." And when I opened it, I said, "No. Wait until tomorrow when you do do the haul video and share them on the haul." All right, guys. So I have rambled on enough. I just wanted to share you guys what goodies I've got. I'm planning to do me some earrings and do some little crafts. I've got um, a furniture piece that I want to try to work on this weekend. Um, I've got a dress pattern that I purchased from Etsy, from an Etsy seller, um, for Blythe's that um, I've cut the pattern out, but I don't know when I'll start sewing it. Like I said, I'm really tired, and I don't know if you can tell it in my voice. I'm stuttering a little bit, hesitating on my words. I'm just so ready for this workshop to be over um, because I'm tired. Like I said, I, I want to take a nap. I'm not a nap taker, but I can see today the way I am feeling that I might um, get a nap in. You know, usually if I want to take a nap and I'm tired like I am right now, I start watching something really good on television and the next thing I know, I'm waking up and the show has gone off. So I guess if I want a nap, that's what I'm going to have to do. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this rambling on um, little haul that I had to share with you guys. I love y'all's feedback and y'all's comments and suggestions. It just makes my day. I have met so many wonderful doll friends here on YouTube and Instagram. And it is just a blessing because my doll hobby is an outlet. And I, I just love it. I just love it. I love it, love it, love it, and enjoy it so much. Guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you have not. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram. I am Ruby Red's World of Dolls there. Continue being awesome, fantastic, and fabulous. And I will see you awesome, amazing people in my next video.